Do you have a Keurig coffee maker or another coffee maker that you want to clean or it's, you're getting the descale light on your maker and you want to clean it, but you either don't want to or can't um, afford to pay the price for a descaling solution? Or maybe you just want something a little more natural and not so chemically. Well, if that's you, then I have a solution for you. Hi, my name is Kathy and welcome to my home. Today I'm going to be bringing you along while I clean my Keurig coffee maker. And I'm not going to be using any expensive cleaning solutions. So let me bring you in close and I'll show you how easy this is to clean your coffee maker without those expensive solutions and nasty chemicals. So the first thing we're going to do is empty out our water reservoir. And I'm, I'm gonna mention here that if you don't typically keep your coffee maker next to your sink, you may want to move it next to the sink for this um, cleaning process. It'll make it so much easier on you if you do. Next, I'm going to remove the filter. And I'm just going to take the filter out of its little holder and I'm going to put the holder back in. I don't know that that makes a difference, but might as well get everything clean, right? So now before we put the water reservoir back in its um, place, I am going to take just regular all-purpose vinegar, white vinegar. You can also use uh, cleaning vinegar if you have it, but it's not necessary. Any old all-purpose white vinegar will work. Now next, I'm just going to fill it the rest of the way with water. Now that my, con my water reservoir is filled, I'm just going to go ahead and place it back on its little stand. For this next step, you will want a large mug. Now what you're going to want to do is while the coffee maker is off, you want to press and hold the 8 ounce and the 12 ounce button at the same time. And once the brew button starts to blink, we'll just go ahead and push it. And this puts the coffee maker into the descale mode. As you can see, my descale light is lit up. It's actually been bugging me for several weeks to clean it. Once it's in the descale mode, you're, you're not going to have to push the 8 and the 12 buttons again. Um, as it cycles through, it will just keep lighting, the brew light will keep lighting up for you to do the next cup. I do also want to mention that you'll want to make sure that you don't have any K-cups in your machine while you're doing this. Now I'm just going to cycle this through let it fill up the cup, empty it out, and I will keep doing this until my add water light starts to blink. Okay, as you can see, the add water light is now blinking. So now I'm going to take off my reservoir. I'm going to rinse this out and fill it with clean water. I filled the water to the fill line. I'm going to set it back on its holder. And now that I've put this on, my K light is blinking again because it's still in descale mode. 
So now I'll just cycle it through until my add water light comes on again. So now the coffee maker has exited the descale mode. The light, the K light is no longer blinking for me to brew another cup. And we're just about out of water. So now I'm going to just empty the reservoir. I'm going to rinse off my filter. I'm going to put my filter back in its holder and then back into the water reservoir. Fill it with clean water. And now we're ready to brew a fresh, clean cup of coffee. Well, I hope you found today's video helpful. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And until next time, I hope you have an amazing day and we'll see you on the next video. Bye now.